Um, it's me here. I know today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day and you're not in class. This is no expectation for you to do this. I've made my own initial stamp. Okay. It's hard to see because this is the mirror image, but it says S Z and I have the Z tilted because I'm trying to be creative. And so anyway, so I have S Z and they're connected. And so a lot of times when I make cups or bowls, or, I mean, you can even use it on your pinch pot if you want. Um, I'll just take this little stamp and I'll just stamp it. So then I don't have to like use a tool that maybe like this, this is a needle tool uh, to write my name. So I know that it's always going to be the same. You do not have to do this, but I'm providing this uh, tutorial for you just in case you might want to, or if you're waiting for your pinch pots to like dry out and you need something to do, then this is something that you could do. Okay. So, all right. First thing that you'll need is want an idea kind of like what you want for your initials or I shouldn't say initials, but signature. It doesn't have to be necessarily your uh, initials. I've seen a lot of potters actually use these nice little like icons or like little design motifs, like, like an interesting arrangement with lines or maybe like a little leaf or a wave or, you know, something uh, that they, that's meaningful to them that they use as a signature for their vessels. So you can do something likewise. Um, the next thing you need after you have your icon, I today for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna use my initials again. Um, I, I wanna make a better one than I have here. Uh, this is not a terrible one. I just wanna make a better one, you know? So um, you also need a plaster disc. Now I'm gonna turn the camera. You can find these plaster discs actually Oh, gosh, Oop. the middle, this is weird. The middle cabinet over here between the seats. All right. Um, so you can find these plaster discs. Uh, so you could use anything down there um, that's plaster. Plaster is this white material. Um, some of it, like the one I have here, has engravings that students have used before. Uh, so you could still, like, as long as you find a nice spot, right, you can still use that if you'd so if you so like. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do, the reason why I like the plaster disc is that I can actually write like exactly or draw exactly what I want on here as I want it to appear on my vessel. So I'm gonna do that. Again, I'm gonna use my initials SC. I could do SJZ. I uh, practiced in my sketchbook <laughs> a couple of days ago because I was just like, oh, I want something different. Well, it's gonna be the, kind of like the same thing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lightly draw it out. Now you can transfer the image. So if you have it perfectly drawn in your sketchbook or on a piece of paper, you can um, like use pencil and then shade the backside of that paper, put it on the plaster disc and then write over your name again. And those that graphite should transfer on. I'm just gonna directly draw it. Um, oh. And then I also failed to mention, notice the size of my signature and my thumbnail. Um, my signature can fit on my th thumbnail. I wouldn't recommend going um, any smaller than this. And I also wouldn't recommend going too much bigger than this, okay? Um, you don't want it to take up too much space. And then, but you also want the viewer to be able to recognize your icon or your signature on your, on your vessels. All right. I'm gonna change the camera angles. You're not looking at my forehead here. Um, so I'm what I'm doing here, and forgive me, I'm doing this on my computer. I am sketching my signature on the plaster. So what I do is I just lightly scratch the surface. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Okay, um, here it is. It's right here. I don't know if you can see it, um, but that's my signature right there. What I need to do is, as you can see with this, with this lemon, um, it's pretty deep. I need to make um, my signature. 
probably similar depth to this right here. So um, the clay can really pick it up. So that's what I'm gonna continue to do. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pause the video cause I'm just gonna go over my name over and over and over again uh, to get that depth with the needle tool. Uh, I'll show you a little bit, but I may just pause the recording so you don't have to watch the entire thing. Um, just so you get an idea of what I'm doing. Of course, there is the fast forward button. So maybe I'll just give you the freedom to fast forward through this information. Trying to be very careful and controlled. I'm only going down a little bit at a time. Okay, so I'm not going to the depth that I want right away. Um, and doing so, I have more control. If I decided to go to the depth right away, I lose control of the needle tool. And then well. Wow. My design doesn't turn out the way that I want. Again, I want to insert here, this is not mandatory. You do not have to do this. This is something a little bit extra. It doesn't count off on your grade. I don't do extra credit, uh, none of that. This is just, for your own interest, um, especially if you like to use stamps, this method will come back up. Um, okay, so I have some depth there. You can see it, it's gotten a little deeper. I'm gonna go ahead now and just take a little piece of clay right next to me and some nice wet clay. I'm gonna go ahead and press it into what we just kind of created. Oh my gosh, big chin there. What we kind of created was called a sprig mold. Um, a sprig mold is basically, you know, something, a mold that you usually create. It's usually out of plaster and you pop a piece of clay in and then you wait a little bit, which is not really too long, like literally a little bit like seconds. And then you can just peel it off because the plaster like pulls the water out, excuse me, it pulls the water out of the clay and it creates, um, it makes the clay just a little bit dry. So it comes out pretty nicely. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. This is just a practice. I just wanna see what it looks like. So you can see, it's like a pancake here. And I'm just, just testing it out. I just wanna see what we got going on. All right. Uh oh, looks like maybe I should have left it in just a little longer. All right. Oh, okay. So it's a, I pulled it off a little too fast. You can see where it might have ripped just a little bit. Um, but at this particular th segment, um, I put my mask on while people are coming in. Um, here, you can see I have some nice lines here uh, on my. Um, my little mold thing. Um, you can see it looks pretty good. I think what I'm gonna do in the future, which is gonna be now, I'm gonna go ahead and push the clay all the way into it and let it set for just maybe a minute or so, and then I'm gonna pull it out. Um, but overall, I really like uh, how this turned out. Um, it's gonna leave a nice impression into my clay body. So I'm gonna go ahead and start all over. Um, should probably clean out. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I don't really have a lot of clay in there. I'm actually gonna do one little thing to this and have it come out easier. I'm going to just soften some of these edges so that So that this can come out really nice. I notice um, 
maybe it won't get stuck as much if I just soften these. But what I'm doing is I'm just taking my needle tool and gently dragging it across some of the points that look a little hard or edges that look a little like sharp. All right, just cleaning it up a little bit. I'm not really pressing it hard, but I think this might help um, with the clay coming out um, so it doesn't come out in a couple of pieces. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm gonna take now, okay. So now I'm going to take a little bit more clay. Notice that my handle, like see my signature stamp, it's rather it's relatively small. I'm going to take more clay here. You can see how like I've made it into like a coil, flattened one end by you know on the table. Okay. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this clay into my um, signature stamp area actually going to just round this just a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just gonna have a, okay, more like this. All right, now we're gonna try this. I am pressing it. Now, let's see here. Let's... Ah, perfect. All right, now I'm happy with this. Ta-da. Okay, so I have my name, but I, I'm not necessarily happy with all this space. Uh, once the clay firms up, I will then take my knife and maybe cut, cut around this. Okay, I'll just kind of draw, cut. Maybe I'll leave, yeah. I'm just drawing like a little area to show you. Could actually leave that line um, if I wanted to, but I think I'm just gonna use it as a guideline to know how much material I need to cut out, okay? So then I'll take my knife um, I don't really have my knife with me at the moment, um, but then I'll just remove this material here. Okay, and then I'll let this firm up, fire it in the kiln. We want this to be bisquare. Uh, it's just, it'll last longer that way um, with repetitive use. And then we have a very own name stamp, okay? Again, this is something that you can use if you so desire. Um, I'm not requiring, like, again, this is an extra assignment. Um, I'm not necessarily requiring uh, you to make one of these. It's just something if you want to. Um, again, so I'm actually pretty proud of this. I have my little signature. Boop. So, all right. I just wanted to show you the finished product here. Uh, so you can see that I refined the edge. Okay. I also am paying attention that my edges don't stick up too much. So I did like take my finger and press them down because I want the imprint of my signature to be bolder than the edge of the stamp. Like, and I personally, with this, I kind of like that little circle, um, you know, before I had a square, which, you know, I had the square too, but now I have a circle one. Uh, and then the handle is something, uh, it's not huge. Like some people really spend time and make it look really fancy, um, can if you want. Uh, this is just enough for me to grab with my fingers and this is enough that I need. Um, so do with whatever you feel is necessary um, for your name stamps if you so decide.